Now for this project, they are using PEX pipe, and Mike Rossfold is here to talk about the sizes, the fittings, and all the equipment. How are you doing? Good, yourself? Good. Now by now, most people are pretty familiar with PEX, but do you want to just kind of give a quick rundown of the pipe? Yeah. Uh, in this house, we're actually using PEX A. Okay. There's three different PEXs, A, B, and C. It's resistant to corrosion, cracking, scaling, and pitting. You don't need the elbows in the system. It's very flexible. Um, it can withstand a tremendous amount of pressure, and it's a lot more durable than any other pipe out there. So what exactly is the PEX made of? It's made of polyethylene flake that then is in an extrusion process cross-linked. And cross-link is what gives it its strength and its durability. Right? Correct, yes. And give us an idea how a plumber would put a system like this together. Okay, so in this system, we're actually coming in with a service line. Okay. Uh, we're then using what we call a logic system. Uh, we're coming out with three-quarter of one inch to the bathroom groups, then utilizing these what we call multi-port tees and running half-inch lines to each fixture. Now we know with PEX that there are a lot fewer connections than, say, with copper, but how do you make your connections? Well, we have our multi-port tees that we use in our bathroom groups. And then for our one-offs, going to hose bibs and everything else, we use our EP fittings, or EPTs we call them. Within that process, we use what we call a cold expansion fitting. And that's an F1960, so you actually can't dry fit these fittings. Uh, what we do is put, place a ring on, expand it out, and then put it on the fitting itself. No hot work involved. And that's going to get stronger over time, you said? Correct. Uh, there's actually 2,000 pounds of radial force around this fitting. So it's the only fitting on the market that actually gets stronger over time. Well, now with the whole system being this engineered polymer, I suppose you don't really need to worry about lead, right? Uh, no. We're utilizing all of our EP fittings, engineered polymer fittings within the system, our multi-ports and tees. But for our transition fittings, like to a water heater, we have what we call our lead-free brass. And also for our shower heads, we have our lead-free transition here too. I know one really cool feature in this house is an on-demand system. You want to talk about that? Yeah. So what we have here is our lead-free demand pump. So what this does is the second you walk into that bathroom, it clicks on a pump, recirks the hot water within the system, and so the second you turn on that lavatory, you have hot water. Pretty cool. Now I say they're making pretty good progress. What do you think? Yeah. Yep. Love watching it go in.